everybody today I'm going to be showing you how to um, edge your corner to corner squares ready for either joining or bordering you can see with this one which is the music square from my kinship cowl in 2022 which is a free pattern on the blog I'll pop the link in the description for you you can see that I got it ready for joining and then I added a little bit of a border on there. I also haven't sewn in the ends as yet. Um, but yes, it looks very effective. This square is worked um, in half double crochets rather than the double crochet method. So that's what I'll be showing you in this video but I'll tell you how to do it for um, double crochet as well. So to demonstrate I'm going to be bordering this square here which is my book square um, which is for National Literacy Day in the same cow. If I just come in a little bit closer you can kind of see where all the different blocks are here. So there's a block there a block there, another block there. What we need to do is just anywhere around your square insert your hook between your blocks and attach the yarn that you're going to be using to um, to border. So I'm using a little bit of a mint green which is slightly different to all of the other colours in this square but that's fine it'll look fabulous so we've joined between two blocks now we're going to be working between the blocks on all the way around so we've joined the yarn as I say you can do that anywhere along your block it really doesn't matter I just try and keep away from the corners to start um, so what we're going to do is between the two blocks we're just going to work a single crochet and then because I'd used half double crochet in this particular block when I'd made my sample I'm going to chain two. If my square was made using double crochets you would chain three and then we will, if I just come in a bit there for you we're going to be working between these two blocks so you can kind of see where the gap is there. So we'll insert our hook between the two blocks and we'll work a single crochet. And then we'll chain two or three if you've worked double crochet and then we'll go between the next two blocks and we'll single crochet and then we'll chain two. And we're going to do that all the way along until we reach the corner space. So I'm going to chain two, single crochet in that last space between the two blocks and chain two. And then as best as I can into the corner I'm going to single crochet and then we're going to chain two and single crochet into that same space where we've started the corner. Can you see that? So we've got a single crochet, a chain two and a single crochet. If your eyesight isn't that good or you're not very confident um, identifying corners just pop a stitch marker in there because you will need it um, to identify it. And then we'll turn our work around so we're working down the next side and we'll continue as we were before. So chain two and then single crochet between the blocks and then we'll chain two, chain three if your double if your block is double crochet, remember, and then we'll single crochet between the next two blocks. And chain two 
find that gap and single crochet and we'll do that all the way to the next corner so here I am working the last space before I get to the corner so I'm going to single crochet chain two and we're going to do exactly the same as what we did in this corner so we're going to find that very corner section best we can oh, that's only one strand hello here we go and we will single crochet chain two and single crochet into that same stitch can you see so we've got a single crochet a chain two and then the single crochet and then we'll chain two or chain three if you're doing um, double crochet for your main block and we will continue as we were so find that space between your next two blocks single crochet chain two if you need to remember pop a stitch marker in the chain two space for your corner and we're going to do that all the way around the square and I will meet you when we get to the end so I'm just working the last corner here so I'm going to chain two single crochet into that corner chain two single crochet into the same corner chain two single crochet between those two blocks chain two and then I'm just going to slip stitch to that first chain three now depending on what you're doing will depend on whether or not you would like to do um, the edging that I have in this one if you're going to join all of your squares depending on what join you're using you may just want to leave it like this so for example um, this prep work is perfect for the flat braid join for instance I'll pop a link to that um, in the description box for you the flat braid join is one that I used for the bouquet of flowers cow and it's very gorgeous it basically looks like you've plaited all of your squares together it's it's really pretty so do have a look at that if you're looking for options for joining however for this particular um, project I wasn't going to do that so instead I'm just going to pop a plain border all the way around so I'm going to chain one and in every chain two space I'm going to work two half double crochets if my block had been made with double crochets instead of half double crochets I would put three half double crochets in the chain three space but I haven't so I've got a chain two and I'm going to work two half double crochets into that first space now we are not going to work into the single crochets we are only working into the chain two spaces for this round so we'll work two half double crochets in each chain two space or three in each chain three space if you've worked your main block your main body in double crochet and we'll do that all the way up to the corner and I'll show you how to work a corner Okay, so I'm almost up to this first corner so in this last chain two space before the corner I'm just going to work my two half double crochets and then in the corner space we're going to work two half double crochets chain two and two half double crochets all in that same corner space so there's two half double crochets in a chain two and we're going to go into the same space and do two more half double crochets and you can see that that keeps the corner nicely angled for you 
and then we'll rotate our work so we're working down this side and we'll continue the way we did with the previous side so in each chain two space I'm going to work two half double crochets remember if you have a chain three space you're going to work three stitches into that space but your corner will be the same so you'll work two stitches chain two and two stitches if you've got double crochet as your main body and we'll follow that all the way down to the next corner so this is my last chain two space before the corner and then in the corner I'm going to work two half double crochets chain two and two half double crochets then I'm going to rotate my work so I've got the next side I'm going to follow that same process so we'll work two half double crochets in each chain two space or three stitches in each chain three space depending on whether you're doing half double crochet or double crochet stitches for your main body and then we'll do that all the way along to the corner and in the corner we'll work two stitches chain two two stitches so for me that's two half double crochets chain two two half double crochets then I'll rotate my work and do exactly the same along the fourth side and the last corner and then I'll work my two half double crochets in the last chain two spaces and slip stitch to join so I'll quickly do that so you can see what it looks like So this is my last corner, so I'm going to work two half double crochets, chain two and two half double crochets in that corner space and then I'll work two half double crochets in each of these chain two spaces and then I am back to where I started. So I'm simply going to slip stitch to the top of the first stitch snip my yarn and fasten off and then it's ready for the ends to be tied in if I come out a bit and that is what my square now looks like you can see that that little half double crochet border has made a difference and it's very cute I do hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today I do have um, lots of corner to corner patterns on the website including all of these blocks if you have a look um, at the link for the kinship cal you'll find all the links for all of the blocks that have been released in total there will be 13 because I have two for November um, so you can pick your favourite for that but there are free graphs and free written instructions on the website please feel free um, to subscribe to the, ch the channel tick that little bell icon to get notified of any updates etc that I may make I've got lots of content planned for you over the next few months take care and enjoy your weekend bye